Thank you for joining us today on Black Investments Matter. I'm Antoine Anderson, and today we're going to be talking about grouping your cryptocurrency websites into bookmarks on your web browser so that you can have easy access to the information that you need. Bookmarks are an easy way to streamline your workflow. And whenever you're dealing with multiple sites like you do with cryptocurrency, whether it's the informational gathering sites or your exchanges, you want to be able to move back and forth freely without a whole bunch of rigmarole of typing in and remembering passwords and um, uh, web addresses, excuse me. Um, that in itself will save you time when it comes to making those quick sales if you're doing any investing. Let's get started on just how to do that. For our example, we're going to be using the Chrome web browser. And I've already got several tabs open. There's my Binance, my uh, Uphold, my Coinbase, and let's say Gemini as well. On Google Chrome, what you're going to do is just click on the chevrons in the upper right hand corner and then click on bookmarks or just mouse over it and just slide over to bookmark all tabs you do that and you can name this group so i'm just going to call this crypto exchanges and i'm going to hit save From now on whenever i go to bookmarks I have my crypto exchanges bookmarks right there. And every one of them will just be a click away. Now, once you've done that, you can select on your bookmarks tab to show bookmarks bar. And that'll put them up at the top of the web page. I've already got a couple of them out there. I've got my crypto resources. Boom, and I can just open up those pages and uh, crypto exchanges. You can also open them up as groups by right clicking the folder and just saying open all four. And they'll have all four of your tabs ready for you to go whenever you're ready to uh, switch in between the different resources that you've saved. Um, replay this video as many times as you need to just so you can get an adequate workflow going and comment in the section below if you have any questions and we'll be here to help you. Thank you.